I want to talk about probably what most people are going to be concerned about, which is, you know, when doesn't the call Why don't show I up? see my call extension? I love that right. as a little catch right. line there. Yeah, I mean, because this is, I mean, if it's important to you, then, you know, you might be tempted to put so much emphasis that you use uh, call-only ads, you know, or something like that. And I don't, that's a whole different conversation. I don't want to imply that anything that we're talking about here applies to call-only ads because call-only ads are a completely different beast. Um, they're very different. Uh, they, they, I would go so far as I'm actually much more of a fan of the call extension than I am the call only ad. Um, uh, but the call extensions straight up, it says on the help form, you know, it will not serve with every impression. So mm. if you have a call extension, Google's very explicit here that they say, do not expect it to show up every time. And there's typically from what I found specific areas that will cause you not to show up. Number one that comes to mind is you're not showing ads above the uh, organic. You're not top of page. Before we get into your witchcraft and superstitions. Oh, okay. Okay. I, by the way, I agree with you, but yeah, uh, yeah. Let, let's read their official language and then let's see how our experience lines up okay. to that. So they say when the ad, so number one, like you're saying, Chris, it's not that it might not show, with every impression, they say call extensions don't appear with every impression, right. with every ad impression. Straight up. So yeah. you're not going to show every time. Mm -hmm. Okay, I just told you that. So why are you asking me why you don't see your call extension? Do you want to get physical here? <laughs> like, why I, I, did you not just hear me tell you that? And it's not that I'm oh. telling you that or I'm a guru or whatever. I'm reading it from the official documentation. Why don't we understand? I think some people have had that clients, that conversation mm. with their clients. Yeah. Maybe not the get physical part, but you know, sometimes Chris, you're working with someone for a long time. There's high stakes. There's a mutual <laughs> brother for me, a brothership and a, and a respect there. Yeah. But sometimes you just want to get physical and it can make you, it can make us a, a stronger bond because I, you've I been through say, tough I've, times together. A lot I've of physical never, talk today, Chris. I think yeah, I need I, to go I, work out or something. You know, I, think, I don't think I've ever mentioned to a client about, you know, physically, handling them in any way i've boxed um, with clients just to just to get it out well, of our systems just, yeah that's awesome high stakes here okay so when the ad auction runs an algorithm god 2022 don't you just yeah it's a little yeah, frustrating here we, here we not go. being able to control alg algorithms yeah. and the way they run when an lives, algorithm but, is like yeah. some some obscure like here we go out when, yeah. when the blah 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 determines like the mysterious but we dark will box we will be talking about ways to influence that algorithm so yeah. there's hope yeah. When the ad auction runs, an algorithm determines, I hate saying <laughs> you that. You can't get past it. <laughs> whether to show the call extension and any other extensions to show next to it based on historical performance. And here's here's some detail, Chris, and other factors. Oh, so love thanks that. for that. Algorithms is, and other factors, 2022. <laughs> well, what if I told my wife that, like, you know, why have you not seen President why didn't you, Jason? Why are you not? Why being didn't you a good tell husband? me? You, why did you? Why don't you say I love you more? Well, well, I'm my, having my a little. Al I'm, I'm having some stress at work and and other factors, huh? Yeah, other factors. All right, other factors. <laughs> it is completely normal for call extensions to appear for only a subset. Of total ad impressions however you can do bit adjustments to show your call interaction ads more often okay great so we'll talk about that so essentially chris you're not going to show every time you're going to show on a subset of total impressions they're going to take into account your historical performance and other factors so let's we have our own theories on other factors you were getting into that let me just speak to historical performance i'm going to take that to mean click throughs click through rate because google wants to get paid, Google wants to connect search users with resources that help them. And maybe, oh man, what if it takes into account time on the call? What if they realize there, someone's mm -hmm. getting a lot of calls, but then people are going back to Google and searching quickly after that and only being on know. the phone for Other 15 factors. seconds? What if your answer rate, you know, doesn't mm -hmm. um, hurt you? So anyway, um, as far as historical performance, I would theorize that it means click the rate but also yeah. common sense stuff put yourself in the search user shoes if they call and you don't answer and it's a missed call which google can see that's not a good search user experience if the calls last for 15 seconds not a good search user experience if they go back to google 
because you didn't give them what they want because maybe you're not showing up on good keywords and you're showing up on stuff that's somewhat related but not really what you should be showing up on and people will have to go back to Google and search again and they had a bad experience. Maybe that lessens the likelihood that your call extension will show. Keep that in mind when you're running. What else do you think is going on, Chris? Yeah, I, you know, I, I think the the biggest factor that's going to be real world is there is a limited number of slots in the paid ad for the for the top three pack, the top four pack at the most. Um, and if you do a, a search for anything with you know four ads above organic, you'll notice number one will have the typically have the most call extensions or sorry ad extensions period it'll have site links call out extensions call extensions it'll have everything ad number two will start losing a percentage of those ad number three will maybe not have any ad number four definitely won't have any um and i think that's the biggest factor because uh what i found is if i'm not commanding first position Wow. My 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 call extension percentage is usually much lower. You know, if, I, if I'm the impressions that you get, of, the impressions of my call extension yeah. is much much lower. And you can see that if you go to segment and then I'm if you go to say your, click type, and this is a little a little deep, but you have to go to the call extension and then segment by this extension versus other. There's, there's a specific segment segmentation that you can use in the reporting on the call extension. Yeah, so how often did uh, this extension show? And I'm looking at my call extension for a campaign over 90 days. Mm -hmm. And this campaign has 1,500 impressions and 380 this extension impressions. Yep, there you go. I mean, that's, yeah. a, that's a third, you know, only looking at a third there. So Google said in the document that we're reading, it's normal for only a subset of the total ad impressions to contain the call extension. So yeah. if you're seeing if you're seeing a high performance of that, then it means that your ads have a great CTR, you're getting good experience, and you're probably in first position most of the time. So for you, would it safe to say it's real estate? Like the top ads, the more you bid, or at least the more, no, I shouldn't say the more you bid because it also has to do with quality score, ad rank. The higher your ad rank, the more likely that this and other call this and other extensions show absolutely okay i agree with that so it's real estate so what's that famous saying from real estate chris about location say it location say it location, say it location. say it say it look i just location location there's about point zero 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 one percent of people who know what i'm getting at but there was a uh there's a company called seritage growth properties they own the real estate that used to be sears and kmart what and their ceo went on uh an interview recently and there was kind of an awkward moment to me because there were two interviewers and the one CEO and one of the interviewers go, well, so you're telling us it's about that old saying about real estate. And the other guy was like, say it, say it. And he kind of like commanded his co-host to like say location, location, location. It was awkward. Oh. So it brought, I brought that to mind. <laughs> but in our case, it's um, location, <laughs> location, location showing up higher. But in the Google ads world, that means ad rank, ad rank, ad rank. Yeah. And then in the optimized campaigns already that are optimized and that have high quality scores, it means bid, bid, bid. So, Chris, I get questions a lot where clients want to show up high in the maps with the location extension and also where clients want to show the call extension a lot. And my answer to them is once we're fully optimized and we've done what we can do with quality scores is a shortcut and kind of the answer to getting these extensions to show more often and kind of the only control you have over that, again, once you're already optimized, is bidding and you've got to ask yourself is it worth it to bid more to maybe get more valuable traffic because they can use those extensions including the call extension 